Okay, so this is um, Potometers, which is the practical in your practical book. I can't remember what page it's on. Um, they, are, they do vary in design, but they all have the sort of following features. They've all got a reservoir. That's just so that you can put some water in there and you can reset it back to zero. They all have a capillary tube of some description um, with a scale on it somewhere. So our scale's down the side on this one, but they could be a horizontal scale. It could be a bit of sort of, you know, that uh, clear tape with a scale on it. But it needs a scale on it. And they've got a, an area where you would attach the plant. So, things that you need to know about the photometer, what it's used for is to measure water uptake. And what you're assuming is that the, all the water that's taken up by the plant is actually leaving through the stomata. It's probably, realistically, <laughs> we're just watching Dr. Sowell, who's carefully, it's floating, the camera's floating. <laughs> Dr. Sowell and his floating camera. Hey! <laughs> um, so, I've got what I'm saying now. Oh yeah, we're assuming that all the water that's taken up is actually lost out through the stomata, which is pretty much true. If you think about it, the plant is using the water to maintain its cell turga, uh, but kind of once it's there, as long as it's not being lost too much, and it's, if it's being lost, it's being lost out of the stomata, um, that's okay, it's not being used. And there's a little teeny tiny percentage used in photosynthesis, but it's so tiny that we're going to ignore it as being like, um, negligible. So, setting up then, we're going to fill all of the system with water. Now that's really, really important that it's all full of water so that the column of water between your plant and your scale is completely unbroken. So they are a bit fiddly to, um, to set up, but I'm effectively I'm immersing it in a tank full of water. I'm just going to push some water through to try and get rid of oh there look at that and suck the water up and push it through now this is sort of where most of the problems with potometers lie because if they are leaking at all if their joints are not sealed you know we've got quite a bit of little bits of flexible tubing they tend to trap air in them and that makes it not work um, whoops and they're fiddly to set up. I feel like a mermaid trying to do things underwater. <laughs> 